life beckons. Choose wisely. G'day and welcome to Jazz Beer Reviews. Okay, today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from uh, Ballina, New South Wales. It's a Seven Mile Brewings. It's a Rauk beer. It's a German smoked dark lager. So uh, I have reviewed something like this a long time ago, the Schlen Kurler uh, smoked beer, which is uh, brewed there in Bamberg. Uh, if you ever want to go and see the great, late great Michael Jackson, um, the beer guru, go to Bamberg in the late 80s, early 90s series, uh, the Beer Hunter series on YouTube where he goes to Germany. And uh, yeah, he goes to Bamberg and he samples this and the beer book's died now. No. So uh, what can I tell you about this? German smoke lager, so... Uh, the ABV, let's try and find the ABV. So it's a 4.8% ABV, 375 mil can. This is uh, kindly donated to me by uh, Matt Chapman. So thanks, Matt. So uh, yeah, like I said, you're there in Ballina and you can uh, buy this online at their, just go to the website, sevenmilebrewing.com.au. Uh, it's something, yeah, Munich One. So Munich One's really, it's kind of a mild roast that they're using this, but uh, the one that uh, is going to impart all the flavour, the Beechwood Smoked Malt. You can quite easily buy that. Um, Wayman do it. And you can, uh, you can make your own Bamberg. It's special at home. Alright. Alright, so not as dark as I was expecting. Well, Colour bar, using this uh, Sanctus glass. Well, bubbles actually. Has been in the freezer. What have we got? Got a... Uh, Haze to it, hazy, uh, I'd say an orange appearance to the beer, as I just missed the glass. <laughs> uh, I'd say the head's whitish, but it's not bright white, it's white. Uh, oh, I can smell the, uh, I can smell the malt. Yeah, it's very, very, um, um, very rich, bready, real rich breadiness coming through there um, that I'm picking up. Uh, not so much the smoke and the aroma. Using caramel too, so that's going to impart a fair bit of caramel. It actually kind of has an aroma like a, uh, a bit like an English ale, kind of maybe even like a stone fruit there aroma. After 13 long years here on YouTube, Jez Beer Reviews finally has a sponsor. That's right. It's good times in the car. Good Times & Co, 100% Australian owned. They sell men's, ladies and children's apparel, plus all the good stuff. Check them out today. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers is all. Cheers to Matt. Righto. Okay. German smoked dark lager, very mild. That beechwood smoked malt is very mild. I was, I was imagining something like a Schlenkerler, Roch beer, but um, Rock beer. Like a twist your tongue trying to pronounce it. It's probably wrong, but I'm not. German descendant, bit of German in me, but I am Australian. I'm still getting like that kind of, uh, uh, kind of, the fruitiness I'm getting reminds me something again, like an English ale. I've just got English ale in my hand, like a one of those real deep, rich English pale ales. A bit of uh, what would you say, like raisins soaked in something like a, a sherry. I'm also getting like a little bit. Of Caramel, getting sweetness, crusty, bready sweetness coming through. But it's nothing, like I said, I was imagining this to be something like a Schlen curler where it'd be like, bang, punch in the face, um, smoked beer. But personally, my dark axe, which I brewed for myself, had a lot more roastiness in the back. This, I'm struggling to pick up the beechwood smoked. 
made to speak there a little bit, but it is nothing like I imagined. <sighs> Getting a little bit of that uh, herbal coming through, which would be the German spelt hops, earthiness. Maybe that's what it is too. English English uh, ales, pale ales, that, that deep rich fuggles and that, which are real earthiness flavour that you seem to get with them, which is delicious. Um, maybe that's where I'm getting. It just if I, was, if I was in a blind tasting, I dead set think you're giving me a uh, English pale, not a German style smoked dark lager. I was expecting something like with the smoked, uh, getting something like that kind of smoked ham, which you get the Schlen Curler uh, in Michael Jackson's episode of The Beer Hunter, where he's having the Schlen Curler, a beautiful dark beer. He's there drinking it, and then he's eating a smoked barbarian ham. Like, it looks absolutely outstanding. The, the pairing was, uh, the food pairing was like on point. Anyway, round up. Can I session this? Well, about one or two. The body is a medium. I think it's got a bit of a fair bit of body to it. Yeah, it's a medium body. Beer, if it's not on the light side, it's more than medium. Finish is pretty dry. I'm getting a little touch of that smoke at the back, but not as much as I imagined. It's laced in this glass. Price point, not too sure, because it was generously given to me to try. I'd have to say, I'd have to say it's a good beer, but full of style, I wouldn't think it's really on point. It's not what I imagine for a German smoked lager. Uh, I, I think of Schlenker, the Bamberg smoked beers as the, as what I think the style should be like, but that's just me. I'm just a beer lover, I wouldn't say I'm a beer connoisseur. I like to think I know that I'm gonna be taste pretty ordinary or good. Oh, excuse me. But I'm going to say it's a good beer, but don't go expecting to be a Schling Curler, a Bamberg, a smoked beer. Lager. So uh, thanks for watching the episode, Jez Beer Reviews. A good for this. If you're curious, you see it, try it. it it's still highly drinkable, pretty tasty. It's got, I love Munich malt, so it's got a good hit in Munich. So, you know, happy days. So anyway, thanks for watching the episode. You guys all take care, and I'll see you in the next one.